Um, so I've changed my mind on um, margin. I've come to the realization that it's a bad deal. Um, yes, it's great you can borrow at 4% at interactive brokers, for example, US dollars. That's below the inflation of 6%. But the terms are <laughs> very bad. Uh, the, the terms of the of the loan are that you can borrow it but if things go bad uh, like let's say you borrow for example for Tesla let's say 50% or so that would bring you at a at a at a, at a margin call of a price of about hundred um, dollars and, and, and but but the deal is that if uh, the, 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 the price drops if, if your equity goes down in value well then you need to pay back a piece um, even if you play it safe and you would say like okay I do the margin uh, I'm gonna borrow not too much so that I only get a margin call at let's say $100 or even only $50 for Tesla um, if you reach that price then your equity has shrinked so much that compared to your margin loan it's not big enough anymore and they want to see you pay back that loan right there mm -hmm. um, and um, meaning that you are forced to sell shares that's not interesting uh, it's the same as you borrow money let's say for your company from someone or from another company and say like hey and the deal, the, the, the deal is that yeah, you can borrow it, but if things like if, if your company comes in difficult waters, let's say your turnover goes down by so much, or your profit margin goes down by so much, or the value of your stock goes down by so much, you're gonna have to pay it back instantly. Uh, that's like signing up for trouble, <laughs> um, uh, and it's like you would not take such a loan because, like. That's not not uh, like right when you don't need uh, like right when you when you are in trouble already uh, they're gonna create your trouble a lot bigger, forcing you to sell at reduced valuations uh, your shares, um, uh, or forcing you to yeah at the worst time huh? uh, pay back. So 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 that's not an interesting uh, deal. Mm, and, and, and it changes the risk reward of an investment for the worse huh? and, and, and that's not wise as an investor eh? like as an investor you want to invest in, 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 in the best risk reward ratios but then when you make the investment you're going to do it in such a way that actually the risk reward becomes a lot less favorable that's not good eh? like yes let's say you get like it's only interesting when the chance is extremely low that you will reach that margin uh, uh, price call huh? when you w margin call price uh, it's only interesting when you can say like okay there's only like let's say one or 0 0.1 percent chance that we will reach that price then it's interesting that you can get like 50 percent more shares or 100 percent more shares and, and there's only one percent chance that well, it 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 it, it 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 will like it will go so low that yeah you're gonna have to pay back at the worst uh, possible time um, and lock in losses and if it's yeah it it all depends uh, on how high is that chance and so I think for example let's look at the permanent portfolio which is a mixture of an index fund a, a global stock index fund and gold you can you can look back in history what has the performance been and what have been the worst drawdowns over a period of hundreds or at least hundred years I have it for you uh, if you look at my videos and the links below you can find the sheet where you see a track record of hundred years of such a portfolio and okay if you have like strong evidence that the chance is very low that you will have a drawdown that's higher than let's say with the PP draw, maximum drawdown ever has maybe been 30% once uh, 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 so if that's the case 
then you can say like, okay, the chance that there will be a drawdown of like more than 50% is extremely low because, because it has never happened in the history of uh, humankind to my knowledge. Eh? Like th that's, that's like a, a, a very low chance that it will happen with you. And okay, you can like, you can say that, okay, I could borrow and 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 and, and, and get and, and and buy more on margin more of that global stock index fund and more of that gold on margin uh, um, so that my so that I only get uh, a, a margin call when it drops let's say more than 50% you can risk that because the chance is extremely low for that to happen um, but of course the returns of such a portfolio are on average the past 10 20 years maybe seven to eight percent eh? and you do have to pay your interest eh, of four percent uh, so but it's worth it because you make eh, the difference between seven and four percent is three percent extra you make on average per year or four percent extra on average per year while the chance hey, on the on the money that you borrow eh, let's say like you i don't know you borrow 20 percent more uh, and so you invest with 20% more than the capital that you invest. That 20%, you have to pay 4% for the loan, but you will make extremely likely on average about like 8%. So you make 4% profit. Uh, uh, that's worth it. Huh? And the chance that you will ever get a margin call is extremely low. Okay, that, that's worth it, I think. Uh, the risk reward of your investment improves. But that's not the case with a single stock, for example. A single stock, you can never say like, okay, how high is the chance that Tesla, for example, drops to $50? It's, it's too high. Uh, there are, for every company, there are disaster scenarios possible uh, where the CEO dies in case of Tesla. That would be a disaster. I would probably get a flash crash crash that will reach that price. Huh? Um, uh, but it's true for every company. Uh, there can always be this, like that's the weak point of, of Tesla that most of the value comes from the CEO. Huh? But but many co every company has its weak point where you can say that if that would happen to that company, um, then yeah, you would reach that price. And and, and even if you can't think. And that like a 90% reduction in price, a 90% flash crash. It's possible for every company, uh, it's every single entity. Uh, and and uh, and even if you would say like, okay, but this is such a diversified company, uh, let's say Berkshire Hathaway, uh, another one that's totally dependent on the uh, on the on the reputation of a CEO Warren Buffett. But you probably can 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 point to some companies and say, but these guys are so diversified, like it's almost an index fund you're buying here. Um, um, uh, like the chance that this will drop in a flash crash to, to let's say more than 50% is extremely low. Uh, yeah, but the, 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 the problem is it's still a company dependent on the people that manage it. And so when they start to manage it more poorly, when you have a, sh a change in, in leadership, well, it will start to underperform. It will start to go down. Huh? Uh, and the share price usually is front running these things uh, goes down before you re actually realize that there is a problem in the company so you're there at like maybe like uh, uh, with a very low margin call price but as the as the, as the share price goes down you start to realize like damn like things are the fundamentals are, are weakening of this company and you and instead of needing a 90% or an 80% correction because the share price has gone down, you only need a 70% correction to get to that price and fundamentals are weakening. And well, no, knowing that every company ends up broke sooner or later, eh? every company, um, yeah, even the greatest, most diversified companies well, sooner or later, and that can take 100 years, and some companies are even 200 years old, but sooner or later will start to be managed poorly and will end up being dismantled. 
and and and, and go down a lot in in, in value so uh, you're at that point there where you're gonna have to say that yeah i mean chances that i'm gonna call a uh, reach this morgan call price actually have gone up and i should probably like lower my margin loan uh, and lower that margin call price and what is the share price of that stock at that point in time it's lower huh? than you bought huh? maybe a lot lower and you're again forced to sell huh? that's that's the situation that is so bad that's 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 the problem with margin loans that it always forces you to sell um, at a worse time than when you took the margin loan huh? uh, not always uh, of course if it works out it will never force you to sell but 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 in in a negative scenario it always comes at the worst time when it really pushes you to sell stock huh? and so um, th that's the problem with this kind of arrangement and, and that's why Yes, it's interesting to borrow at 4%, but not at these terms. And, 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 and so you can't really compare it, for example, with a company borrowing money or borrowing money for real estate because the terms are very different. When you borrow money for real estate, the bank will not ask you to pay back the money or start paying back a lot more money um, if the value of your real estate goes down or is get gets cut by half it won't increase the amount of money uh, you have to pay back that's very important eh? uh, and and and, and, and um, yeah makes it a, a very different deal also the bank will allow you to fix the interest rate which is today very interesting we're probably bottoming out in interest rates here uh, you can fix your interest rate even in europe like for two percent for 20 years or 30 years you can fix it at two percent per year that's great but not the case when you have a, a margin loan uh, the interest rate is variable and so if interest rates go up the your margin loan goes up also in interest rates um, and so that means that your margin loan is piling up quicker. Eh? The interest rate is just added to the amount of money you need to pay back. And so your margin call price goes up quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes up due to the interest rate that's being added daily. And it will go up faster. And, and, and when it comes to companies they 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 um uh, they um they also like as if you're a company that's interesting to borrow because you 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 issue a bond people buy your bond these bondholders can't come claim the money when you're in 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 trouble uh, like let's say the company has difficult time um the bondholders can say oh uh, actually the value of your company has gone down uh, I want my money right now <laughs> uh, or uh, oh, you're in difficult uh, times now you seems you're selling less uh, okay pay me back right now no uh, so 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 the company knows with certainty uh, when it needs to pay back and the bondholders can't uh, claim the money anytime sooner huh? uh, and as a company it would be very unwise to have such kind of uh, uh, I borrow money on such terms of course uh, so so yeah uh, and also the interest rate like um, yeah as a company you pay maybe eight uh, percent that's a lot more than four percent you need to pay but but the, the, the people that borrow you money have a much higher risk if the company goes broke they lose all their money uh, 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 a um, uh, a broker doesn't risk anything in borrowing your money uh, against your stock eh? especially not when they like the moment your equity goes down they want it back and they forcibly sell your shares there is no chance they will not get paid back because they always have um, uh, 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 make sure that um, um, they they borrow very little to you I they borrow not and uh, not, not very little they're, they're willing to borrow 
like uh, three times as much as your equity so let's say you invest with 100k they are willing to borrow you 200k that's that's a large amount but the moment your your equity goes down to 50k they only want to borrow you not 200k but only 100k eh? uh, so they make sure that uh, they get paid back first uh, the moment your equity goes down they get paid back immediately by selling some of that stock that you bought uh, with that loan so the risk for them is very low uh, and, uh, and but they still ask for percent interest they do and those are the best terms at interactive brokers most uh, brokers ask a lot more they, they actually ask eight percent most brokers uh, interest but they take very little risk it's you taking all the risk but they get paid well for it so it's not a good deal so my plan is to 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 sell down uh, my tesla stock uh, to pay off that uh, margin uh, uh, that uh, margin loan um i hopefully the price will go up and i will be able to sell in in tranches uh, on the way up um i think it is very important i pay the, uh, this down uh, so 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 even if the price goes down i will um sell uh, everyday stock uh, so that to make sure that uh, that i sell um so that I pay off this 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 margin uh, this um, margin loan because the terms are just bad. Thanks so much for uh, everything you guys have shared with me about this. Some people really helped me um, in, in in with their feedback um, and um, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I think this was a good example where my followers were actually right and I was wrong. Uh, that also happens uh, because the majority uh, did not support this idea and uh, I think that was right. So thanks for pointing that out and um, I wish you all good luck.